Detective, one last time. Disco Elysium is an independent RPG unlike others for its absence of action and unique detective, narrative-driven style. Player develops their character by collecting XPs via dialogues and engaging in critical thinking. Developing the character will benefit the player in solving mysteries. This unique style of gameplay has won Disco Elysium many awards. You're big boys, you can handle it. Do you hear that? It's the most pathetic applause in the world, Harry. Made of pity. Developed by Robert Kerwitz, an Estonian detective fiction novelist and ex-editor of Estonian cultural magazine and his experience in detective novels, Disco Elysium renders a perfect reflection of our society and politics. Our protagonist is an alcoholic cop on the verge of hitting rock bottom. A truly horrific necktie as such. You reach out to grab the tie. He has come across a maliciously complicated homicide case that entangled him with the higher power that controls the city. The power he never dares to go up against. What do you see? Disco Elysium's gameplay is fairly straightforward. Players control the character from an isometric camera angle by walking him around in a small setting to explore or start a conversation with another character. I'm not people who've studied this. Uh -huh. The gameplay is mainly about engaging in a conversation. The protagonist has two conversation options, with NPC and with himself. This man looks like trouble. You might not want to get into this right now. The latter is used for developing skills, which is the heart of the game. Skills are the heart of Disco Elysium. The complexity of this game sits on three pillars – skills, choice-making and thoughts. These sure raise a considerable amount of complexity to the game, but they will become clear as the story progresses. The number of questions and choices available depends on your level of skills. Answering questions will merit you with learning caps, which can then be added to the thought cabinet for personality and skills development. Other than skills and thoughts that affect the personality trait, the game also has other interesting features, such as the time system. Time will pause when travelling or when the player pauses the game. The clock will resume ticking when the interaction with an NPC occurs. The player can fast forward time by reading books. Currency can be acquired by selling bottles, picking up money you found on the street or by threatening NPCs. Characters' abilities and skills are also affected by how you choose outfits. All backgrounds, including the characters, were designed to look like an oil painting. Every brush stroke and chaotic splash of pigment exhibit delicacy. Having great attention to detail makes us want to look at every little thing that appears on the screen. The mixture of colours, grey and brown, the worn-out scenarios, the lonely-looking people, all perfectly display desolation. Hello again, sweetie. The biggest addition of the Final Cut version is the added voiceovers that had been developed for 14 months. Another thing. Great. No, I don't have a key. Or some boring storage space with a bunch of old junk and dust. Because Zom is a small team, the characters' speeches are sometimes unnatural, as if they are reading from a script. Mum says it's necessary to do both, because it builds character. Mum says a proper worker is dutiful. That's how you get ahead in life. You succeed. But casting a jazz musician, Lenville Brown, to be a narrator was a right call, because of his incredible voice that beautifully matches with the game atmosphere. And an audience amount of time passes. It is utterly void of struggle. No ex-wives are contained within it. Although Disco Elysium is a linear game, players are allowed a great freedom to go on their own paths to discover information, and you will be able to see how your character's traits have developed as you progress through conversations. This idea can be utilised in RPGs in so many ways, such as characters' personality development, levelling up the attack, or obtaining special moves. Book this coon, okay?
and this is Play Prime Stats that shows you this game's characteristics. For Disco Elysium, it focuses on the story, as it is a story-driven game, where progressing requires reading. Disco Elysium's story also intertwines with the presentation elements in terms of attractive visuals to capture the player's attention together with the uniqueness of its character development mechanics. And for this game, the reviewer recommends you to get. Talking with his inner voice, he must either be drunk or crazy. Subscribe to Play Prime for more reviews and follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.